Hey, what is up heroes and welcome back to Azor Arc Among Us. Last episode we began the game off, we turned into a human, we got our starter Pokemon, got a nice little Mischievous that's um, it's a bit mean to us, a bit hard to control. I, I feel like uh, Mischievous is the uh, the boss here. <laughs> and we caught a few other Pokemon, we got a Scroopy, a Herdia and a Lombre. Came to this town, we're going to quickly explore it and see what we can find and then we're going to get our first gym badge because there is a gym just up here. And Mischievous really wants to get all the gym badges so... Uh, We'll be doing that, but first we've got to explore this town and see what we can find. Like, there's a red candy, nice. Very nice. Yo, what up, girl? Pokemon wandering without their owner worries me. Why? I don't know why, but you definitely can't tell if they're wild or not. Doesn't it feel safe? Okay, fair enough. Wait, 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 wait. Why are we entering people's houses again? Don't you know under every roof lies a hidden treasure? Humans keep precious items in their house. Maybe we can spot one or some if the occupants aren't home. Are you telling me to steal using my ability? I'm not going to do that, ghost. I've had enough issues with humans. Now that you mention it, you haven't told me what your problems are. I tried playing with your dreams, but dark creatures are hard to read. You have an owner, right? A trainer, perhaps? You're actually quite good at it. I had one. You look at him right now. He seems okay. Where is he at? In a place I cannot reach. Oh, is he dead? No, but he's in Unova. Ooh. You know what? <laughs> is that a place? Yes. It's very far from here. It's also where I come from. Complicated history, huh? Not at all. Zachary is a very kind person. Special human, huh? Sounds interesting. Never imagined uh, talking about him again. Where should I start? Uh, how I got my name. So, that was still a tiny cup back then. As small as you, and somehow he chose me as a starter. Smart guy. He was around 12 when I entered his house at, as Pixie. When he took off as a trainer, he changed my name many times. Once he changed my name to Bamboo, not because I like to eat one, just so he can say, you just got bamboozled. <laughs> Bambooza? Eventually, I got overwhelmed by how many, how many names I must remember. I failed to respond to his orders. My performance was declining. Overall, I was uh, tired of how he seemed to treat me differently than the others. It's like he never got satisfied with me, no matter how hard I tried. Then, on a rainy evening, I decided to run away from his tent. You ran? To here? No, I was just sneaking away while he, he and the others slept. Didn't get too far though, I quickly got lost. As expected, he showed up to search for me. He shouted all sorts of names, as if he didn't know who he was looking for. Then I thought, see, he doesn't really care about you. Which part of me he actually wants? Why can't he call me like the others? Who am I to him? I watched Zachary become desperate. He started talking to himself. I thought he'd gone cuckoo. After he kept on spouting his name into his name into the woods, he's looking for himself now? He tried calling you with his name? My ears rose when I realised it. Zachary wanted, wanted to treat me as an equal. He no longer saw me as a fighting pawn or even a pet. In fact, he never saw me that way. Learn that names are important for human uh, families. Parents can, t can took days deciding on what name should be given to an offspring. So, my name is Ghost because it's, I'm a pesky ha haunter, is that it? I'm just bad at made up human names. You can choose whatever name you wish to call. Just know, I don't want to risk saying a name humans consider weird. They might notice me not as their kind. Now, should I spill something else? Yeah, how I got here. Maybe I should think this through. Another topic perhaps? Zachary's career. Long story short, our team attempted the league once. We were so close to winning, but yeah, you lost. I can see that coming. See, if I was on Zachary's team, you would have ruled the world by now. Being a champion doesn't mean you're a king, Mischievous. Oh, really? I always heard stories of powerful trainers with high statuses, but that won't stop me. Well, enough of the stories, I guess. Can't let her know too much. Huh. So, can we go inside the house? Oh, we can. Yo, what up, dude? Used to have sleeping issues. Some ghost Pokemon cursed me, I think. Ah, so that's why I always felt restless even in my sleep. Then I read some books about hypnotherapy. One suggested seeking for aid from dream-eating Pokemon. And that's when I decided to pet a Muna. She ate my nightmares, which I am very happy to have. But I think she ate all sorts of dreams, which is kind of a bummer. <laughs> Muna, you've been eating dreams? I like the taste of my owner's dreams, but some of them are questionable. He wants Dream to eat a lot of food without worrying about his health. <laughs> okay. 
Alright, that's uh, not a actual house. Oh, what's this? This is a library. Hmm, there's a big note on the wall. Let's see. Aksara Town Library will open tomorrow at 8am. So it's a library, huh? Maybe I can give us some information here. How to evolve Mistrevious, as well as practice my reading. But more importantly, how to get back. Okay. Yo, what up? Reading is a very soothing activity. Nothing beats the combination of book, a bench, and a flowing river. Switch that book for a switch, then you got a um, good set in there. Another trainer. You plan to partake in the gym trial? Yes. I warn you, it's not a pleasant experience. I wish I could tell you why, but it wouldn't be fun. How about we have a battle so I can tell, tell how prepared you are? Sounds good. Alright, let's do this. We got a level 34 Laurentis. Okay. Let's go for a Icy Wind. Not bad. You have Night Slash? Okay, yeah, we're switching out. Well, that ain't good for us. Uh, let's go Hurtier. Stupid Laurentis have a Night Slash. Oh, you're switching out as well. Into Lil again, okay. So we lowered your attack, which is great. Let's go for a yawn. Sunny day, okay. Right, so you'll be going to sleep next turn, and we'll just go for some crunches. And Quiver Dance is quite scary, because you get all them stat boosts, which I don't like. Alright, so now you're asleep. Don't wake up. Your defense keeps dropping, so... We'll eventually take you out. One more crunch. No, you woke up! Mega Drain. Ouch. Ooh, so close. Another Mega Drain. And you got a crit? Seriously? I was just about to take you out. Okay. Uh, Scroopy's got this. Let's go for a Bug Bite. That crit sucks so much. Miranda's back out, let's go for Bug Bite. Oh, wow, it's Garoopy! Again, a crit of my own. Very nice. Alright, with that skill, I don't think you can win against them. Oh. Great. Since you won, I'll give you a hint. Have you heard of a species called Zora or Zorak? Mmm, no. Well, of course I know, but let's pretend I don't. <laughs> you can't find it in... Idinza, which is why not many people know of it. Anyway. The Zora line is a species capable of creating illusions. It may appear as something else, but it's not real. An illusion. The gym members don't own Zora in their team, nor the leader. I would be surprised to see my fellow kind anywhere, really. What I mean is, they will try to trick you. It's a simple trick, but don't be fooled. Thank you for sharing that. When you talk about the Zora line, did you ever saw one yourself? No, I read it from the books. There's a library in Akasara. You should give it a look, too. I see. There's really no way to find a Zorak around here, huh? Yeah, that's a shame. Unless... You're a Zorak yourself! I feel my body freezing up upon hearing that. She looked at me with a smirk. Oh wow, I was just kidding. Really, don't sweat it too much. You're wearing all black, so I can't help but make the joke. Sorry if I sounded rude. Lesson learned. <laughs> Never talk about your species. <laughs> Alright, let's go get healed up, because we took a beating in that gym. Not gym, that, that battle. There's a few more houses to explore, and then we can go and uh, take on the gym. I really like the story of this like, game so far, like how it's how it's all like, kind of laid out. It's really cool. Yo, what up? Have you seen another cyclist around? Uh, we're going to pedal through Mount Pangrango Path. Circle the Victory Road, then take a break in the rest area. No? Well, I guess I'll keep waiting. Okay, well, I hope he shows up soon. Ooh. Sup? Do you have water? I'm a bit thirsty, but I can't reach the water fountain. I don't think I'm getting you any water. No, I can't. I love Pokemon games like this where you can just, like, you know, where you play as a Pokemon or you can speak to other Pokemon. It's so, so cool, man. If you like, I could judge the intriguing potential of your Pokemon. Yes. Mistrevious. I see, I see. This Pokemon's potential is decent overall. That's my determination, and it's final. Incidentally, I would say the best potential lies in its attack stat. It's rather decent in that regard, and that's how I judged it. Okay, thanks man. Appreciate that. 
Oh, you're mischievous. You have to go for it a little harder. If you do, I'll give your Pokemon something nice. So I guess that's friendship that probably is, maybe? So this is the nearest town to the Pokemon League. I wonder if the library is as good as people say. I reckon after the maybe the gym battle we have to go to the library or something. Her eyes are closed, but the entire body is twitching. That drooling on the table. This is our chance. Let's ransack the entire house. <laughs> Oh, I love Mistrevious. Oh, man. Wow. <laughs> Froggy! Mum wants you to go home. Froggy! Missa, did you saw my pet frog? He's supposed to be here. Yes. Where'd he go? That, I don't know. Oh, shucks. Froggy! This reminds me of Big the Cat. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can take on this gym, shall we? Oh. So no gym trainers, just a gym leader? Hello. Greetings, Challenger. My name is Tama, and this is the humble gym of Akasara. Finally, the moment I am destined for. Let's kick his butt, Zack. I was a ranger before I had to retire and move to this town. I was able to befriend a lot of aggressive, dark-type beasts. They're eager for a fight, so let's have one right now. But I'm afraid it's not going to be that simple. Most gyms are too straightforward, too kind to trainers. Gyms are just tiny hurdles with no purpose in it. But I won't let you have that. Now if you excuse me. Crack. Oh. Okay. Wow, you're completely soaked. Hey, stop. The water flies everywhere when you do that. Did he just... My god, is he put on that prank for everyone? I'm jealous of him. He pulled my arm. What? He pulled my arm, ghost. Don't you know what that means? No. The only reason I can walk safely among the humans is my illusion, but it only tricks the eyes. My physical traits remain the same. So that means he's going to be suspicious of me. He'll question what he, seems, what he sees because he knows my arm isn't like their kind. Then my existence will be revealed to everyone. I'm sorry, Mistrevious. I can't take you with me anymore. I can't continue your training. I'm going to hide. What is that nonsense you're spewing? You're telling me to go away? Just because you think that person knows who you are? No, what I mean is that I can't fulfill what you ask for me. Why are you so afraid of getting exposed, anyway? And why are you so annoying? Look, I was... Fine, you're the trainer, do whatever you want. Someone saw through you one time, and nothing bad happened. You took me all the way here, nothing bad happened. If you want to die alone in that cave, so be it. Before you go, remember our terms. You have to win me a badge. After that, you can throw me away if you want. Why is this badge so important to you? My very first owner told me that I will evolve by winning that badge, and that I will be acknowledged if I can be stronger. Of course, as soon as I realised my owner gave me, gave me to someone else, and then they handed me again to someone else, again and again and again, now you want to abandon me like the humans too. Ghost. Even if you're separated from your owner, at least you had that one person. I don't have anyone else. Aww. Poor mischievous. Alright, it's got to be some trainers around here, surely, or something. Young trainer! I apologise for the harsh treatment. Please understand that the trap is part of your trial. See if you're worthy of our Eclipse badge. I don't believe you. Dark types are often associated with bad, evil traits. Cheating, deception, brutality, uncaring. But that is not true. Sometimes we can't learn what it takes to survive. From the so-called dark monsters. You really know me, don't you? If you're a citizen of Idinza, then you should know. If you're a citizen of Idinza, that is oddly specific. I'm finished. You should know how hard it is to preserve the nature, and how the odds are stacked against us. That is what Idinza is struggling with, our enemies. They're ahead of us by breaking the rules. To be a good trainer, good ranger, or just good person in general, you have to prepare to be unprepared, to fight in an unfair situation, and to know when to fight unfairly. Why is he? Now come! As you approach me, I will pay attention to your Pokemon. And then, I'll adjust accordingly my strategy. No, I will adjust my strategy accordingly. I kind of feel like he's prepping us for, um, you know, going on an adventure and what whatnot, but... Why do you keep on speaking as if I'm a real trainer? Does he trust his eyes more than his sense of touch? He felt my hand, covered in fur. Just to make sure then. If my fears are right or not. Let's grab this. It's alive? Oh! Wait! No! Error! I got an error! 
Alright, we're back, so let's go into this double battle. Predicting your opponent's strategy is what I teach the trainers. Just wait and see it for yourself. How was the water, young man? Feeling refreshed now? A little bit. Spot your trial. Can you win it in an unfair situation? We shall see. That's how unfair it is. Alright, Sneasel and Sneasel, okay. Alright, so Intimidate knows their attack, which is great for us. If we go for... Let's go for a workup, and then we will go for a Bug Bite. Got a crit on me, that's great. It's four times, okay, and Swords Dance, okay! Great. Oh, critical hit! Let's go! Very nice. That was super good. Alright, gonna heal up my Hurdia. And I wanna take out that Sneasel, because I went for. I think, oh, okay. Now you're gonna switch out. Perfect. Sucker Punch, but it failed. Nice, getting the Scroopy was definitely a good idea. Uh, now we're gonna go for Yawn on the Mightyena, because that Sucker Punch is gonna be super annoying. He's just gonna double attack me. Wow. Okay. Alright, Lombre. Bubble Beam and Bug Bite Absol. Going for a potion. Okay. Oh, Super Fang is super annoying. <laughs> Alright, two left. Uh, I will use this turn to heal up my Lombre. And then we'll Bug Bite the Marina. Going for beat up. Okay. You're not going for Super Fang Man, it's super annoying. Alright. Fire Fang? Great. I like how you have Fire Fang, mate. Makes life super fun. I'm gonna revive Skaroopy. And I might. I guess Icy Wind. Oh, you went for a Super Potion, great. Oh, this battle is so unfair. Alright, lowers your speed a little bit, which is good. If you still have a Sucker Punch, then it's gonna hurt. Alright, Bug Bite. Potion up. In case a Fire Fang comes in. Because we need Scroopy. Scroopy's like the best here. He's just going for bite. Ouch. It's got icy wind. Just wanna No, my Ina avoided the attack, so I wanna do some damage to my Ina. Please don't attack. Oh no. Fire fan, okay. This is bad, this is bad. Sucker punch. Great, and the beat up's gonna finish me off. Although, you see, oh, no, one beat up will probably kill me, to be honest. That's so unlucky. So unlucky. Oh man. But maybe with them extra levels we got, I can use the red candy actually as well, so. Maybe use that, but I'll probably save it for the gym leader, because the XP we'll get from the, uh, the double battle. Be good. Oh well, we've got two trainers here now. Why are the rangers here? This is how we capture poachers. We block their escape routes. Where do you think you're going? To take on the gym? I ain't a poacher. Okay, go take on- oh, you got six Pokemon. And another double Sneasel battle, okay. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Um, let's yawn one. And Bug Bite. Six times is so, so much. Alright, uh, I should have bought some potions. Because I got nothing. Okay. Well, this is fair. 
Are we supposed to win these battles? Because I might have to go do some grinding. I have to do a lot of grinding. Got a full heal, okay. That double crit! Wow! My luck in this game is shocking. We can't win this, man. So bad. Yep, see ya. Alright, so I'm guessing we're just gonna have to do a lot of a lot of ground. I thought the shoe was gonna get hit then, but This is it. See ya. <laughs> Critical hit. Them Sneasel's getting so many crits. It's crazy. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to go and uh train up a little bit. I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Alright, so I've done a lot of training, caught some new Pokemon, and funny story, I went in here and I thought, I'm gonna quickly just grind off these guys because the highest level Pokemon you can find, see how far we can get. And yeah, she turned around and I beat him in a, in a single battle, so we've got to fight her now. And uh, yeah, our team is looking pretty good, pretty good. So let's try to take out this Sneasel. I mean, a 1v1 makes the battle so much easier, and I shouldn't have gone for Opera here to be honest. But Alright, it's gonna crow gunk. Call it crow gunk, so I thought fighting type Pokemon's gonna be very helpful in a dark gym, isn't it? Level 30, nice. And let's go for revenge. Okay, uh, I don't wanna die. So I'm gonna switch out. So I got an Araquanid. I just randomly found an Araquanid. I was like, okay, cool. I'll capture this 100%. Like, did so much grinding. And I only found one Araquanid, and I caught it. Like, one Ultra Ball is great. Uh, let's go into Stoutland, which has been my go to guy. Because just retaliate. Whew, it's melting everyone. This is great. And Murkrow, just retaliate. There we go. Sweet. So we beat these. And I think I'm probably strong enough to actually go ahead and take on this gym. Oh, this game is very difficult because uh, obviously Mischievous being Ghost against Dark is not great. And just in general, the Pokemon here are really tough. Like that double battle. It was two Sneasels going for beat up, like, you know, six hits, and I kept getting crits, it was so difficult. But now, uh, we can take you on. Before we begin, I must apologize. I seem to have dropped the wrong person to the pool. You see? I had to retire as a ranger because of my injuries. Even if my body is much better now, I still have regained my eyesight. It appears I dragged your Pokemon into the pool. I haven't heard the sign of your Pokemon being summoned again. Is the canine harmed? He's blind? Keep your guard up. He might be lying. Pokemon is doing fine, don't worry. Ah, that's good to hear. I think we can start our match now. Oh, that's lucky. But I'm afraid it's not going to be that simple. You're going to drop me again? Our match will be different. You see? People like to use level as a way to compare Pokemon strength. Pokemon high level is considered more superior. It's a very cheap way to make someone seem tough. That is why trainers grind. That's I've been grinding because this gym's been really tough, but... They want to have the upper hand, but I won't let you have that. What if I have that superiority? Oh, a level you can't possibly match. What if I told you my team is 10 to 20 levels higher than you? Then I would cry. <laughs> will you still be up to the challenge? If not, I'm going to drop you so you can grind all you want. Am I truly ready for this? What should I answer? You know what? I'm ready. Ghost is right. I can't run and hide all the time. I will never be prepared enough to face them myself. It's now or never. Ha! <laughs> what an answer! You sure you won't regret this? I regret not doing this sooner. That I waited for a miracle to help me. I was too afraid. Miracles do exist. Just by surviving my injuries, I have received a great fortune. I'm sure the world was, is still on your side. It is. Thank you, Ghost. Thank you for pu uh, pushing me this far. I will not retreat anymore. Alright, here we go. He actually is 20 levels higher. Okay. So I'm assuming we're supposed to lose this battle. Okay. Um Struvius, let's just go for a uh, nice thunder wave. If we can beat okay. Beat one of his or this Pokemon. Then we should like get a lot of XP. Oh, can you stop full healing? Boy! 
There you go, he's gonna stay paralyzed, it looks like. Uh, Stoutland. Crunch. Keep going for the crunch, Stoutland. Keep going. Nice. Level 36, reversal. Woohoo, yes, you can learn that. Um. Uh, not attack that becomes more powerful the less HP the user has. Get rid of takedown. Crawl on, alright. Reversal. I've ordered a lot more than that to be honest. Well, it is level 50, I guess. So let's go for Yawn. Can you burn me? Sweet. Bug bite. One more. No! So close! Raquanid, you got this. Bitch life. Nice. Soak. <laughs> bite. No, we're not going to win this. Uh, swagger, unless... yeah. Do I... Do I have to win this? I feel like I might have to win this... Oh, so you want to continue the game, huh? Too bad the devs are too lazy dealing with fan game anymore. Unless you show them support. Doesn't mean money, though. A morale boost is what the devs need. Tell them what you liked and the weak points, including bugs. If you have suggestions for them, the devs would like to hear that too. Now back off! You can't move until further notice. See you later! Oh. So, I'm assuming this gym, we're not going for it now, but... I really like this game. I think the only weak point I can say is it's it's quite hard. It's quite hard. Okay, they're gone. So can we try and take you on? Yes, yeah, so the only thing we can really do is try and win this gym badge. Which is going to be... Super difficult, but you know what? I think I'm gonna keep grinding until we can beat this and see what happens. I'm not sure if we're supposed to win this or not, but yeah. Oh, all right, I'll see you very soon. I did it! I beat him! Took a while, but I got there in the end. Even under great pressure, you fought hard to the very end. You've won against my illusion. Yay! Glad you're willing to fight until the very end. You have proven your worth. Got the first badge! I won! I finally won a badge! Take that, sucker! Now watch me as I evolve! That you've earned our badge. Please keep our gym detail a secret, okay? Don't tell them about the pit. And don't tell them about the faked high level. Fake? What? I just added a random digit based on your strongest Pokemon. Simple. It was an illusion. They're not above level 50. Oh. <laughs> Simple trick to intimidate trainers to test their perseverance. Did you, uh, saw through that one? Woohoo. To be fair, I thought they were quite easy to beat. Because, like, Stoutland was going in with Retaliate, but, like, there was times I thought... It must have been like, they, I thought they were level 50, but I didn't think they were like, must have like maybe like zero IV, zero EVs, must have been like really easy, but you, know, you had me fooled. One answer. 
least you acknowledge that you've been played. Yeah, we both tricked each other. <laughs> Wish you well on your journey, trainer. Outside my gym, you will face people who are willing to do anything. The trainers, the poachers. Protect your Pokemon well. The rangers might have captured the syndicate leader, but the others are still out there, seeking for sellable Pokemon. Maybe they will target yours one day. I just received the news. The syndicate leader, Tusek, is about to get his sentence tomorrow, but he still won't tell us where he kept our kept the other captures. Please, if you are able, consider joining us. Okay. We need as many help as we can to fix the mess he and his fellow poachers have caused. The poachers. Oh, was that the end? Okay. Well. My illusion faded into reality. I walked among the humans as if nothing had happened. For some reason, I took an unfamiliar path, hoping I would eventually figure out where it was leading me. And thus, my other life as a Pokemon trainer began. Ooh. What about this book? Can you read it? Ghost, please. Try reading those books yourself. You said you can read right in on gravestones, right? Those are names. Don't have to make sense of them. Look, this one has my drawing in it. You should try this one. Maybe you can tell me how to grow a magic hat of power and wisdom. I think it's not that kind of book. See, it's a novel. A slice of life story with uh, Miss Maggie, isn't it? Fine, I'll try harassing the libra <laughs> library woman and make her talk. Keep reading, I'll be back. No, Miss Drifius, no. <laughs> I feel like something invisible is trying to get into my head. Is someone watching me? Don't sweat it, Zorak. Just focus on reading and finding out how to get back to Unova. <gasps> it's the God of All. Strange. I can't seem to read your mind. You're not human, are you? I wonder. Are you the one they're looking for? Is that why your heart is in anguish? I wish I can help you, but... I see no point in doing so. Oh, okay. Thank you for playing. This game, this game is made for the Relic Castle Game Jam 4, made using Pokemon Essentials. A guy called Hollow Gap just happened to be responsible for the game. Well, you've done a fantastic job, and I really hope we get more, because this game was awesome, and I want to know more, man. With help from Droid779, Risky Best 9, and Noodles Butt. Hey! Noodles Butt made um attack on the space station and stuff like a couple of years ago, which is really, really good fan games, man. Really good fan games. Whew! Thus ends the first arc of this journey. Please let us know if we should continue. Yes, make it. Make more. This is good. This is very, very good. I really, really enjoy this game. And if you do continue working on it, I will continue playing at 150 million percent. Really, really do love this game. Whew. Anyway, I'll catch you guys for another Relic Castle Game Jam submission. Really, really did love this one. <laughs> All right, see you next time. Peace.